What's up everybody, Alex West Collects here bringing you another figure review and Hulk Hogan week continues. Earlier this week I got the Ultimate Edition Hollywood and now from Walmart.com I have the Masters of the Universe Rattlesnake Mountain. Um, so these are finally shipping from Walmart. I feel like this got delayed a bunch of times and they kept charging my goddamn credit card. I feel like I had like 20 pending charges consistently with walmart to the point where i was like yo are you guys gonna ship this or not but uh it's finally here uh packaging looks pretty cool man i really like the artwork uh stone cold and uh hulk hogan battling it out right here on the front a nice display of the figures outside of the packaging so you can see them looks pretty cool i mean take a look at the top of the box some more nice artwork and i'll be honest i'm not that i dislike the masters of the universe line it's just it really isn't for me I did only buy this because I wanted the Hogan, and I'm not knocking this line at all. It's it's great. It's just not, you know, what I collect. I'm mainly, for the most part, only an Elite, and obviously the Ultimate Edition, I have every single one of those. But nonetheless, these look great. I uh, can't wait to get them out and take a look at my first Motu figure. So here we have the Rattlesnake Mountain Ring all assembled and put together. Um, pretty basic ring. Uh, it, it does have the spring action just like we have with the basic rings in the past. It's got the uh, Rattlesnake uh, gimmicks on the turnbuckles. Also with pegs on each Rattlesnake if you want to get the figure propped on top to do some high flying moves. I'm kind of curious to see if that's going to be something we can easily do with these figures. Oh wow, it does... If you guys can see that, but Stone Cold does go on there pretty easy. A little, just a little bit of force, but pretty cool if you ask me. So that's a nice little feature. Um, and let's get into the figure itself while we're here. So if you want to take a look at Stone Cold, his head skin actually looks like he's got snake eyes. If you can see that, pretty cool. Um, decent skin, kind of cartoony looking for. Obviously, the Motu line. He's got Austin on his vest, as well as a rattlesnake on the other side, and then the rattlesnake on the back of the vest itself. He comes with these two snake gimmicks, which peg onto his wrist, if you can see right there. Removes very easily. Uh, I've noticed this one. I don't know if these are supposed to pop off. Like I said, this is my first set of Motu figures, but the arms do pop off. And let's get a look at Stone Cold without his vest on. He does have a little bit of, I guess it's a snakeskin logo on the front of his tights. Plain black on the back. Black boots. Oh, that's nice. He's got his, uh, his Texas tattoo on his calf. Pretty iconic. Um, not too bad, articulation-wise. Not much at the elbow. Goes out about that much. Rotates fully. Legs go out about that much. Little bend at the knee. The foot does go up and down. There's also a boot cut. Head fully rotates. Goes up about that much. Goes down. That's a good amount down. Um, Pretty cool. I'll be honest. I'm not really super impressed. Just like I said before, this, this isn't what I collect. I really just wanted it for this guy over here. The Hulk Hogan. Which looks pretty awesome. He's got the H on the front. The armor. The removable helmet. The battle axe. Reminiscent of that gear he wore way back when. So the armor does... Oh, it's, that's pretty cool detail, too. It's got the cuts just like the shirt. I like that. Let's see how this is going to be a pain to get out. I wonder what his arms pop to. They do. I'll make it easier. Pop the head off. If you want another look at this vest without the Hulkster wearing it. 
nice detail on the bottom of the armor. Again, with the nice cuts. We'll, we'll do them all. Let's do the helmet, too. Not bad. Pretty cool detail. Battle axe. Let's put the Hulkster back together. Pop his arm back in. Pop the head. This looks pretty sweet. I'm obviously a little biased. I'm a big Hulkamaniac, so... Um, I definitely do think this looks better than the Austin. Head scan looks great. Get this to focus a little bit. There you go. Very nice. Got the yellow trunks, the white wrist tape, the red boot, uh, knee pads, yellow boots with the white laces. Take a look at the Hulkster from the backside. Brother. I mean, pretty cool. I like the way this came out, actually. You know what? Let me come back and see if I could put a, a bandana on this guy. How would it look? So if you wanted to use the Hall of Fame bandana, that does fit pretty good. Or if you wanted to use some of the Storm Collectibles bandana, that looks pretty sweet, actually. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him in, like, ring gear or with the attire he actually came with. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments which one you think looks best on the Hulkster. And you know what? Let's... I do have... An Elite Hogan. Just curious. See if this helmet looks any good on him. And that doesn't quite fit. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, okay, so it will not fit on the Elites. If uh, that was something you're looking to do. Because he did wear that helmet. I forgot the event or the mat. Uh, the pay-per-view he wore it at. But um, I know I'm happy with this. Honestly, I, I really did just buy this ring. This set just for this figure. I'm sure a lot of people did. So Mattel... Damn you for uh, forcing me to buy this set. But, I mean, it's not bad. I, I just, I don't have any more space for any more rings or... And definitely space is a huge, huge um, issue with collectors. I mean, you run out of room. So, I mean, I, I just can't imagine collecting another line. But, hey, if you guys enjoy this, it's uh, very uh, reminiscent of the old Remco figures. I'm just going to move you around give you a little tour of this ring. So, he they... Do you, it does come with these, uh, I guess it's like a bridge stairway. It's got pegs on it if you want to have them walking into the the ring itself. And if you take a look on the inside, we'll get all these accessories out. So this is kind of a rubber feel. It's not like um, like the typical rope. This kind of feels a little bit like, uh, I don't know, just it's rubber. Like licorice or something. Um it does come with a nice little snake mountain decal. If you guys want to get a closer look at the snake itself. Get this to focus. Pretty cool detail onto this. Even the side. The purple looks nice. Reminiscent of He-Man. I don't collect the Masters of the Universe line even for He-Man. I mean, I was a, a fan of He-Man when I was a child, but not so much anymore. But that's the ring. And just taking one last look at these figures. So I think I'm going to display my Hulkster with uh, the Storm Collectibles shirt and bandana. I think the shirt's from the red and yellow uh, version we got with the long tights. And that bandana's from the last one, the Hulk Rules. Um, final thoughts on these figures. I mean, they look pretty cool. Not going to lie. I don't think they've released a Stone Cold in the Motu line. Definitely the first Hogan. So if you're a big fan of uh, any of these wrestlers, obviously you're going to grab it. Me personally, a uh, huge Hulkamaniac, so I felt I needed this for my collection. I have everything that Mattel's done of Hulk Hogan so far. Uh, but it is a little pricey. This ring is $50. Um, who knows what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep the Stone Cold. I don't think I'm going to keep this ring. Not that I don't like it. It's just, you know, you, you run kind of tight on space. I already have three um, authentic scale rings between two Mattel's. Uh, Wicked Cool Toys, and then I got the AEW one as well. So if you are a fan of the Motu line, these are great. Um, if you really just collect Elites and um, Ultimate Editions or Basics, um, don't think this is necessary for your collection. I, again, if you are a huge Stone Cold Mark or, Star, or Hulk Hogan fan, I uh, highly recommend them. The figures are great. Uh, so these are now shipping from Walmart.com. I think they're supposed to hit retail. They're only uh, exclusive to Walmart. So I think this is the only place you're going to find this ring if you want it. 
Um, thanks for checking out this review. As always, subscribe to my YouTube for more great content. Follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Take care, guys.